Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a reaction video to something that's happened on Instagram over the last month or so. If you don't follow me on Instagram already, I've just set up a new Instagram account. My old Instagram was James Great. Dog, stop barking. Stop barking. Stop. Thank you. If you don't follow me on Instagram already, I've just set up a new Instagram account. The username is James Gray Fit, so it's the same as this YouTube channel. If you want to keep up to date with my life, head over on there, tap follow, and you'll get every single day of my life on Instagram. As I say, if you don't follow me, head over, follow me now, and then come back to this video. Like seriously, what are you doing here? Why haven't you gone and followed me on my new account? Thank you. So as I do the reaction, I'm going to put everything that I can see on my phone up here so that you can see what I'm seeing as I react to it. And this all started about a couple of months ago when somebody sent me a screenshot of an account of my photos on Tinder. Now, this isn't the first time this has happened. I've had a couple of people use my photos on Tinder, um, but there's not a lot that I can do about that, obviously, because when I'm on Tinder myself, yes, I have a Tinder account. When I am on Tinder, I'm not searching for guys because I'm straight. So I can't access the guy's accounts. But I've had a couple of my friends that have sent me photos of these screenshots. One guy's called Michael, one guy's called Nathan. Nathan is the guy that I'm gonna focus on today. Now last Wednesday, I got an interesting message request and the message went something like this. Sorry to DM you, is this also you? With an account called Nath.Austin. And the account has eight photos, they've got 669 followers, they're following 263 people and they have eight of my photos uploaded onto their account. If not, I guess he's impersonating you. Uh, I'd help report him if that's the case, cheers. So first look at the profile, we've got a profile of me topless in my summer house when I was in lockdown doing my workouts. Now I reckon that's my most liked photo on Instagram on my old account, I'm not too sure. Um, I think it's got about 700 likes, something like that. Um, but that's their, their display profile picture. They have eight posts, they've got 667 followers, and they're following 266 people. Uh, Nathan Austin slash fitness, building muscle is my hobby. Nothing beats training with a good workout, pitsy, with a kiss at the end. So I'm not following this account, funnily enough, because I don't want to follow myself. Um, and they've got some story highlights here. They've got one called XX. They've got one with a picture of a dog. I'm guessing that's my dogs. They've got one called Jim, Jim Shark, and then Highlights. So they've got five stories in total. Let's have a look through the stories. So first off, the first story highlight is a video of me in the Cambridge gym. Uh, that was just before lockdown, actually, at Impure Gym in Cambridge. The second video must have been even older than that. That's probably one of my first videos that I ever recorded and put on my story of my old Instagram account. And then the final video, again, is a fairly old one um, that has been on my account for quite a while. On to the dogs. So five weeks ago, posted two pictures of my dogs. The second one, they've copied across another one. These are all ones that have been on my stories. For those of you who don't know, I've got two golden retrievers. I've got one called Pickle, one called Blossom. Pickle's about 11, Blossom's about four and a half. Now, a side note, it's not uncommon for a golden retriever to want to bring you something or always have to have something in their mouth. My dogs do this, particularly Blossom. Blossom takes it to the extreme and then she'll whimper, particularly when someone comes home or she hasn't seen somebody for a long time or you know, she's been at home all day. So in this story highlight, she's doing that. My parents have just got home, she's got something in her mouth and she's whimpering and she normally takes this to the extreme. And at the very end of that clip, my mum comes in the door and says, how are you, James? Not how are you, Nathan? How are you, James? Because funnily enough, my name is James. I am not Nathan. So anybody on this person's profile, if they get into the dog highlights, immediately they can kind of work out this isn't who they say they are. And that brings up the dog highlights. Now, I don't understand if this person is trying to be me, why they have gone to the extent of taking my dog highlights. Now, initially, my initial thoughts was, okay, they're using me as a profile to potentially get provocative photos, to potentially flirt with people. Why take my dogs? Why claim to have two golden retrievers live in my house and be me? It, it just doesn't make sense to me. So the next highlight, we've got the gym. 
Okay, so this is these videos are seriously blurry, by the way. Anybody looking at these videos must think that I'm filming on some kind of Nokia brick. Um, so we've got my deadlifts. We've got uh, a pump from when I'm in the summer house. Three weeks ago, I'm in the gym pressing 70 kilos for eight reps. Three weeks ago, we were in lockdown. I could not physically have been in the gym three weeks ago. Their timeline doesn't make sense. So we've got me pressing 73. This video is probably about a year old. Wow, not even pressing it properly. And then one week ago, I'm in the Cambridge gym again, doing some more deadlifts. Considering this is lockdown, and I haven't left my home, why am I now in Cambridge again? Now onto my Gymshark highlights. This is just some highlights of Gymshark. Not a lot to react to. Oh my god. Look bad in selfies, question mark, X. I would never put that on my story. Like, who would? Even if you're the most vain person ever, why would you put that photo with that caption? That doesn't make sense to me. Everyone viewing this profile must think I'm some sort of mega loser. But... Hey, so look bad in selfies, kind of embarrassing. So next story highlight, we've got fitness. These are more recent. These are actually the right time scale. Um, so this is when I'm running some fitness sessions in the park. Four stories on that highlight. Next one, we've got the lift. I quite like this highlight, actually. I've just had a look at it. Um, this is a highlight of every photo that I've taken in the lift when I leave the gym. Um, maybe I should put that on my story, but I don't take the photos in the lift anymore. I take the photos in the disabled shower because it's better lighting and I have more time. Also, can we just look at my hair and notice how sometimes my hair is really short and like the next day my hair is really long. No one grows hair that quickly. This person's timeline doesn't make sense, not in the slightest. This person keeps putting kisses at the end of everything they do. I'm not too sure why. I don't think their English is that good because on this story with my friend, um, the caption is we dead. Now it's either we are dead or we're dead, not we dead. So I'm not sure this person's English is particularly too good. Um, but yeah, I don't really get the kisses at the end of everything. Right, so that's the story highlights. Um, yeah, take what you will from it. I'm not too sure why they're posting it. It's a very grainy quality. It's not making sense. My hair's really long one minute, really short the next. Just making me out to be some sort of loser. I mean, I am a loser, but they're making me out to be a bigger loser than I am. So let's go on to some of the photos. They've got eight posts. As I say, they've got um, 667 followers. So let's see out of these 600 followers and the posts they've taken, let's see what they do. So the first post we've got, we've got my most liked photo, which is also their profile picture on Instagram, 141 likes. Eight comments. Um, so, the caption. What do you guys want to see me post next? Okay, not too bad of a caption, but really pretending to be me. What do you want to see me post next? Not like you have a choice, because you can't post anything until I've created the content. You don't have any control over what you want to post next. If one of these comments had been like, oh, I want to see you do 100 press-ups, there's no way this person could do that because I've never done 100 press-ups. Not on camera. So, the next post they've put has got 150 likes. This is my ab routine. This is still on my old profile. Um, this is the ab routine that I still do to this day, actually. Really good ab routine. If you want to go and see it, check it out on my profile. I have also made a YouTube video. I'm going to link that here. Um, it's a killer abs, particularly focused on your lower abs set, but this is their second post, 16 comments. The caption is, some of you have been asking for my hashtag ab workout. Well, here it is. One weighted Russian twist, two butterflies, three leg raises, four reverse crunches, five plank, six feet crossovers, seven single leg raises, eight leg raises with oblique twists, and nine the ab roller. All exercises done for 45 seconds, followed by a 15 second break. This workout takes eight minutes, 45 seconds, and is sure to make you feel that burn. Start off slowly and make sure you focus on contracting your abs. Don't arch your back and put pressure on it. This will take off the focus of your abs, which we are trying to work. 
I think that's the exact same caption that I uploaded when I uploaded this post about six months ago. So not too sure why they've copied it word for word, but there we go. The next post, we have a black and white photo. The very first word of this caption is spelt wrong. Now, I'm not going to claim that I have the best spelling in the world. You could probably go through my Instagram page and find crap spellings and mistypes and all that kind of stuff. But the very first word on this profile is wrong. One, it's meant to say one week wait, one week later, and I still don't have anything to post other than a selfie. Yes, you do, Nathan. You have everything you possibly want to post because there are about a hundred pictures on my profile. You can take any of those one hundred pictures. So anyway. 173 likes, 16 comments. The next post was posted on the 2nd of July. This has 221 likes with 30 comments. The caption, think I need to stop cutting off half my face when taking photos. Ugh, with two kisses and a laughing face. I can't remember why I took this photo. I think I took this photo on Snapchat and liked it, so I saved it about two years ago, maybe a year and a half ago. And then it made its way into Instagram. Why? I don't know, but it did. Um, and then anyway, this person's reposted it. On the 29th of June, we had a post that hit 220 likes. The caption for this post was getting back into it with the upper body workouts, but I think it's time I need to see someone about my shoulder. This was four weeks ago. Now, in real time, about four weeks ago, I did start having a problem with my right shoulder. Um, Nothing too strenuous, but the only place I put this was on my story. So for those of you that follow me, you would know that I had been to the physio about my shoulder. Um, so this person's like taken my dogs, taken my life, and has now even taken my injury onto their fake profile to try and make it as realistic as possible. So we're going to move straight on to the next photo, which was the 25th of June. This has 225 likes. Uh, the caption, we all learn as we develop but sometimes listening is the best tool we have. That's actually quite a good caption, but that has been edited. So not too sure when that was posted. The next post, we have 237 likes. This is a photo from when I started everything. This is one of the original photos they ever posted. I was there in my top, tensing my bicep as hard as I could after a pump in the gym, head down, looking at my phone. Um, yeah, the caption for this photo was good back and bicep day. So, a couple of things to mention. Firstly, all of the photos that this person has taken, particularly for their story, they're really grainy, they're not very good quality, they're quite poor photos uh, and videos, so I'm guessing they're using some sort of third-party app to do this all. I'm not too sure how it works because I've never done it. I don't intend to pretend to be anyone else. So, very poor quality photos. If you look at the story timeline, stuff doesn't add up. I'm in the gym when we're in lockdown. This guy's allegedly from Essex, so... They understand that the UK is in lockdown. It's not like they're from elsewhere in the world. Um, my hair changes lengths quicker than I can change clothes. So the way that they've cut and chopped their story highlights in particular doesn't make sense. Um, and finally, you can hear my mum say my name in one of the story highlights. It just doesn't make sense. So I'm going to kind of leave that there. If they want to pretend to be me, they can pretend to be me. But what I'm not OK with is the harassment. I actually reached out to three people on this page just to let them know that the person they're talking to isn't the person that they're pretending to be. And I had some quite interesting interactions with these people. The first two I reached out to were the two that potentially were going to meet up with this person. Because that was my first my first instance. I thought, hang on, I don't know the, the intention of this guy. I don't know his motives or her motives. You know they're not who they're they're not saying who they pretend to be so i'm going to reach out and just say look whatever happens don't meet up with this person it's not who they say they are so the first conversation with i put hi mate i've just had an account nathan has been flagged to me this is an account pretending to be me and you can see in the comments that you were meeting him last sunday this person is not who they say they are please report the page he'll put I, i'll do that for you i put hope you're all okay didn't want anything bad to happen that's not me nothing bad happened to me that's good man what did the person say to you they wanted sex with me Sorry to hear that, bro. Some people are sad. Glad you're okay. This weirdo could be anyone. He put, yeah. So nothing bad's happened to the, the person that I thought was going to meet up with him. Um, don't know if he ever did meet up. Not too sure who this person is, but first person I reached out to, relatively okay. The second person I reached out to didn't seem to have much of a clue what was going on. I put the same message in. I put, hi, mate. 
someone's reaching out to you, blah, blah, the page isn't me. He put, I was going to meet him. I put, don't, he or she's not who they say they are. He put, it's you. I put, yes, I know. He put, you're gay, ain't you? I put, no, bro, straight. You showed me your dick. Uh, it was you. I put, it wasn't me. I don't do those kind of pics, even to girls. He put, okay, babe. So this person, I don't think has a clue. I think this person thinks I have two accounts and my name's either Nathan or Jimmy or James, whatever. Some people you can't get into. Um, but then the third account I reached out to was quite interesting. This I reached out to Alice as well because I saw that she commented on the photo. Um, I just put, hi, the account's pretending to be somebody else. It's a catfish. Please report the page. She put, who is this? I put, a couple of weeks ago, you posted an account called Nathan Austin. Today it was flagged to me that the account was set up in the Tinder. The account was, has set up a Tinder and an Instagram in my name and they're pretending to be me. She put, oh my God, WTF. If you are, don't meet him as he is not who he says he is. I would definitely not meet him. I've just liked, I've just liked you comment from my hockey page so that you can see that I'm referring to. Thank you for telling me. If you report it, that'd be great. I have no idea who this person is and I'm trying to work out what motives are behind the identity theft. Well, I will report it. Thank you. Welcome. The thing is the person, the things the person was trying to say to me, could you send me a screenshot and tell them to me and send them to me? Yeah. Now this video that she sent me, I don't quite know what I was expecting. I thought it would be a little bit of somebody constantly replying to her stories or sending a couple of messages. It was far worse than I could ever have imagined. And this person has genuinely been harassing this one individual that I reached out, reached out to. And I don't know how many other people this person has done this to. Probably quite a few considering that it is just shameless messaging over and over and over again. It's really embarrassing. Like, the block button exists for a reason. If somebody is harassing you like this in the real world, block them, report them. If you like the attention, find someone who's gonna give you genuine attention rather than some weirdo who is clearly not who they say they are being. But anyway, note to self guys, if someone is annoying you, if someone is repeatedly messaging you, if you are not giving anything back and they're just sending you message after message after message, please just block them. You don't need that negativity in your life. You don't need that harassment. You don't need the constant annoyance. There are better things to do in life. I can't work out what the motives are behind this person trying to pretend to be me, but they can do what they want to do. So why am I making this video? I'm making the video to make you guys aware. I'm reacting to an account that something's happened to me hasn't ever happened to any of you guys. It's not particularly the nicest feeling in the world, but at the same time, my pictures are public. My Instagram stuff that I'm doing is going to be public. I know that when you put something online, it stays online. So you've got to be so careful with what you do these days. If you ever do online dating or anything like that, please make sure the person you're meeting up with is actually real. Before I meet anyone ever, I will always physically FaceTime them. I will physically call them. I will have a conversation with them. I'll always meet in a public place. All of this kind of stuff that you can take precautions to know that the person you're meeting is real. There are so many people in this world today that are pretending to be somebody that they are not. That being said, that's the reaction to my fake Instagram account. If you want to, do me a favor. It'll be brilliant if you go onto the page and just report it. As I say, I'm not too fussed about the account itself. You know, he's taking my pictures, pretending to be me, taking my dogs, crossing the line. But taking my pictures, pretending to be me, there's not a lot that I can do about that. That doesn't bother me. What does bother me is, as you saw later on in the video, it's the harassment. I'm going to end the video here. So that's the reaction to my fake Instagram account. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe, turn the notifications on, and I will see you next week for another video.